Howdy folks. Happy Catter Day. Yeehaw. Alright, so our challenge event is on right now. I thought I'd do a walkthrough on some of the specials here. I did manage to, I had three pulls. I did manage to get Calamity with one of the pulls. So she is decent for sure. Alright, so let's start going over these guys. This is insane. So Doc Colton got added the last time this event ran. Uh, before it was only five heroes, so he's relatively new. But this is nuts. There's already a lot of uh, very strong yellows. It's probably overall the strongest color. And there's some very good variety in what the specials do in yellow. And then they add this guy. Totally overpowered. Snake oil liniment. <laughs> so he's at 48 average. 50 is that break point. So any of the speed weapons will help. Uh, even the SWAT. Even the three star SWAT. Because it has three points on it, I think. Three speed points, which would put him at 51. So, ironically, <laughs> he gets helped by a three-star weapon, even. That is an insane amount of health recovery. Absolutely insane. And then the addition onto it, for somebody that's low health to begin with, can take them from the red to well over half their health back. And you've all of a sudden got a hero that's almost back to full health. It When they had just about been taken out. Like, that's nuts. All allies get 50% attack against purple for three turns. So, definitely helpful for the war machine. I'd imagine he's got good synergy because of what he does with a lot of the other yellows as well uh, like that's just yeah insane he's he's a big help so if you were wondering about leveling him up definitely okay so the high noon family has dual at dawn all enemies with reduced accuracy receive 150 damage all enemies get minus 44 accuracy for three turns chance to miss also applies which is annoying as hell it really is. So if you've got a team for this challenge event, like you have three or four of the heroes, then I mean, they're, they're going to be a good combination because of the family bonus. Plus you get the attack up for having more than one unique hero. So uh, I don't know if they'll nerf him, but honestly, that is... That is an overpowering amount of health to go back on the uh, team. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'd say he's a nerf candidate, but who knows. Alright. Sunbeam. She looks pretty cool. She, he, I don't even know. Uh, nice sniper, though. So, that 55 average, what's the break point is... Uh, 58 to go fast so only three speed points so again the red speed weapons are gonna help 400% damage to the target which is sweet the target has a buff 50% chance to hit another enemy with 80% reduced damage wow that's a neat little uh, <coughs> that's a neat little effect <clears throat> oh pardon me it can only be triggered once per enemy. Well, that's good because that... Wow, that actually is very nice to have written in the special. Huh. Because there are buffs from, like, Jocasta, Wyatt, um, Coyote. You know, there's the counter-attackers, which is considered a buff. So there are a good amount of buffs out there. From different heroes so that's just a nice little thing around that <laughs> target gets minus 38 percent accuracy so that chance to miss also applies which is god super annoying that's one thing i hate about this challenge event is the 
blinding that it can do. And minus 29 defense for three turns. See, that's just like a one-two punch, right? 400 damage to the target and then minus defense. And then the next hero that hits them or even enough tiles, tile damage and boom, they're done. So, yeah. In a lot of the reds are multi-hitters and there aren't too many snipers. So this is, this is a good special for sure. I'd level both Sunbeam and Doc. Cooper. All right. Speaking of yellows <laughs> that are overpowered, uh, he's actually not really overpowered, but he does have a neat special again. So he's already in the fast category. Uh, what do they have to hit to be extra fast? Is it 68? 70? I'm not even sure. So I'm not sure if a speed weapon helps him. I would have to check the speed chart out on that. Uh, not bad damage for a sniper. Um, this is where he really shines, though, is the last two parts. 200% additional damage against targets with less than 50% health. So that's similar to Visor, where the damage just gets increased exponentially. So aim him at somebody who has that less than 50% health. And then if he actually does take out the target, holy freaking Hannah, does he ever charge up fast if he does take up the target? take out the target so those two things written into a special beyond just the normal target damage initial target damage are pretty sweet he's a nice sniper to have I, he seems to make a great wing uh, he's super annoying on the wing actually because he's harder to take out and he he just sits there charging ever so quietly and then all of a sudden three turns in the dude's aiming at you and hitting you what the fuck because the the fast speed charge right so they're uh these kind of heroes are nice to put on the wing because it's uh yeah they can do a heck of a lot of damage before the uh opponent who's attacking you can actually get to him on defense over hiding on the wing so yeah definitely a decent hero too all right blaze neat no i haven't used him much but i did level him in my main account and i do have him here in my alt account but i haven't touched him yet uh, i got him last time and then i got calamity this time so i'd say those are pretty good draws for free to play where i actually did end up with some event heroes so that's cool all right 250% damage to the target, managed, minor damage to nearby enemies, so he's an AoE hitter that covers three. Um, AoE just means an area of effect, like he's affecting more than one hero. Uh, target nearby enemies get the minus 38% accuracy, well that's annoying. Clear status ailments. So that's probably the one thing that makes him unique is the clearing of the status ailments. I don't see him ever replacing Vittoria, though. Uh, he does seem decent for the greens, though. Uh, but, I mean, Vittoria is six-shooter special. People are still going to opt for her. Uh, you know, in a stack, though, for the events and whatever, a Vittoria stack, he probably be a good addition to that especially with the clearing the, the status ailments so but I haven't used him a whole heck of a lot but I, like he's decent it's just all the three star greens are overshadowed by Vittoria so but yeah if uh, you want to level him up I, I'd say he's worth it it's just that she's a three star green too and pretty much the go to for most people alright so Calamity so she would be um well depending on where that break point is for extra fast i think being at 65 some of the red speed weapons would probably help her be extra fast have to check into that one too 
All right, so 225 damage to the target nearby enemies, so not bad for an AoE hitter again. And she can go off pretty much super fast. Like, that's only... Is that only eight tiles, maybe? I don't know. It's not It's not that many tiles, though, having that fastest speed charge. And then the target nearby enemies get the minus 28 charge generation for three turns, which is neat, too. Of course, they're going to charge up slower, so... Uh, I like her as a red. Um, you know, the damage could be a little bit higher, but she works great. She has good synergy with in a red stack. She works great with other reds, so it's not too bad at all. She's she's a decent red. I like her in Foxtrot, so Foxtrot is my first go-to when I need a four-star red and then Calamity. <clears throat> All right, Wyatt, good, decent healer. Uh, the best, probably, four-star healer up until Jargle come out. The weird Chinese pizza throwing. Um, <laughs> the weird Asian pizza throwing uh, hero there. I don't, I don't know why they just didn't. I don't know why they changed him to throw pizza. It was very funny. He's a, he's a neat hero too, though, Jargle. And I meant no offense, by the way. No offense with what I said there. Um, because uh, I just find it interesting when they change hero specials up like that. They did, they haven't done that too much here in this game, but they did that over in E&P e with a few of them. And it's like, why did you change it? Who cares? Like That was funny. He had a fish that he used to throw before, but... Anyway, they changed it to Italian and pizza for some reason. <laughs> All right, so Wyatt, good, good health recovery for sure. And now there's not many green speed weapon choices, of course, except for the weapon of the month, which would put him at 50. Um, they're replaying the green speed weapon, so we can take a look at that after. All allies recover a small amount of charge, so that helps. I, I wish we kind of knew the percentage, uh, but that's similar to Jocasta, our uh, lifeguard <laughs> hero, <laughs> which is cracks me up too, actually. <laughs> they make a lifeguard after having all these, like, <laughs> military-style heroes. They come out with a lifeguard. Oh, sheesh. Um, but yeah, I like her speed recovery certainly helps heroes charge up faster. And same with him. I have him here in my alt account, uh, and he's been super helpful. No Jocasta in this account, but I have a couple Jocastas in my main account. So it's nice having that speed boost. It really is for sure, especially, uh, against a war machine and a green stack. And... Vasquez. So yeah, Wyatt is definitely worth it. I know uh, a lot of people with multiple Wyatts too. Um, they seem to want to take them in on all their war hits and that sort of thing. So yeah, Wyatt is definitely worth it. Now, I don't know that you see this guy too much. Uh, he's He's got a decent special. Uh, the slow is going to certainly hurt him. Uh, 43 is the break point, so you don't want a blue speed weapon with at least seven points on it. Um, I suppose you could sentry class. You could probably some people would if they put emblems on them pick the speed in the sentry there, but that's only going to put him up to thirty-seven, and he's still going to need to hit forty-three. So I don't think that's super helpful by any means. 90, 195 damage to all enemies, so he's an AoE hitter covering all five. Uh, I don't know, compared to Tremor and some other ones that hit five, or, or AoE hitters like Panzer covers three, um, they do a lot more damage. And even their Nightblade, uh, we can take a look at her, the Hero of the Month, I believe does more damage and has a faster charge, so... Probably not going to see this guy much. Is it a super special? For sure. Uh, when you 
start comparing it to some of the other blues though it's maybe not the greatest which is why we see the tremors more all allies resist charge effect for three turns oh so that's all right and then the enemies get the minus 38 percent accuracy for three turns of course so that's what can really screw up an attacking party is when the minus 38 accuracy kicks in and sometimes i swear it's back to back to back for missing specials and missing the tiles so he kind of does shine there but i i just don't think he's gonna be too much of a player in the game because he's been he's an older hero now that's been in this event since it came out and i still don't see him a lot so and both my teams are competitive in the top 100 right both my alliances so we don't see him a lot in the top 100 that's for sure so he might be one that most people may not want to level uh overall though these heroes are pretty good oops come back here marigold pepper box surprise okay so she is fast which is cool um so 68 isn't extra fast it must be higher than that i don't have all the speed chart memorized yet though memorized quite a bit of it but so it must be 70 72 maybe where they hit extra fast so 200 percent damage to the target the target gets 48 defense against purple for three turns so she's gonna be good for war machines um can you imagine the combination i that you can make she's gotta have good synergy with the other purples specifically because of the second point and uh you know combine her with uh somebody like wondro that does the tile damage on purples once his special goes off uh you got umbra with the minus defense that she does uh i'd imagine she can she could be a quite a fun hero with making quite a few different combinations with purple stacks there so i don't she looks like a really fun hero to me anyway and then of course the accuracy that the whole damn family gets <laughs> is crazy all right so let's check out these so they're rerunning a lot of the weapons of the months now now it looks like so last month was a rerun the neopunk talon was purple and then the relic hunter bargo here green and it's i'm pretty sure it might be the only speed weapon there might be one other one but i don't think so so six speed points on it that's gonna help quite a few of the heroes there and that helps that helps mr wyatt correct so six speed points i wasn't sure how many speed points it had on it 46 so that puts him at 52 over that 50 break point so it, he'd still be average but he's gonna drop a tile off of charging so yeah definitely a valuable weapon when they don't bother putting speed on any other um any other green weapons like just what a joke some of these green weapons are. They're, they seem to be the weakest out of all of them overall. So I'd imagine there's quite a few people probably after this speed weapon now that they've featured it again. And it has the armor piercing, which has come into play a little bit more, but 25% extra on that. So, All right, Nightblade. Now, she's faster than Vasquez not by a lot uh two points will take her to that 43 and in all honesty she could jump to nine speed points would put her at 50 so she would jump up into the average break point and only be what 10 tiles is that 10 tiles to charge instead of what she's at now which I think believe it's 12 tiles to charge uh so right there that's a jump ahead of vasquez and then she does more damage deals 200 percent damage to all enemies 
as an AoE hitter there. So she's doing more damage. She can be made functionally faster than him. Same class, Sentry, on the talents. And then she also reflects new status ailments for three turns off of herself. So you can't put any burn, can't put anything on her defenses down, nothing for those three turns. And then 460 armor. That is huge. That is a huge amount of armor. That's awesome. So I, she looks decent. She looks solid. Like, yes, she's slow. Um, but definitely can be made faster. So I don't know. She looks decent to me. I, if I had the choice between her and Vasquez, I'd, I'd be choosing her, I believe. 1461 for health. That's not bad either. So, all right. So that is a rundown of those heroes. Hope that helps anybody who's kind of looking to um, figure out which ones to prioritize. If you have any of those, now I have. I can't even believe this. 17 ballistic armor. So I'm gonna empty my TS20 here and see if I can nab another five star green besides Dasha. Because I would really like that. <laughs> Obviously, I'm a little imbalanced. I don't have a second um, five-star yellow either. So, And yet, do I have enough speed holsters? I have six. So let's see if I can get a green or a yellow. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure how many are here total. So six, seven, and six, I think. So 13, 19 maybe heroes all together. Let's see. Oh, I didn't notice my sound's not on very high. What's with all the purple? Wow! Six purple in a row. What the heck? Dude, you get, you're just taunting me now. Oh, gosh. Wow. All right, so it looks like you guys are getting fed away. Holden managed to nab Holden on the uh, with coins on the event, so that was pretty cool. I thought, oh, he'll uh, he'll put up, he'll boost my purples a little bit, which is cool. He makes some good combinations too. In purple stacks because of what he does. Wow. I'm not even. I only got two four stars even so far. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. There's another one that's getting fed away. Holy. That's crazy. Alright. They're all getting fed away. That's nuts. Alright. What do you got? Oh I got seven weapons there. This is just uh, Weaponsmith 8 where I use for disassembling, so higher parts. Whoa, oh, nice, nice. I, I am so lucky in this account with weapons, so no complaints there. I'll just complain about the shitty heroes I get from TS20. Oh, I needed another five star to sacrifice though, so that one's going. Oh, that is so cool. All right, that's not bad. I'll take that. That's really cool. Okay, well, that's a good catter day so far, I'd say. <laughs> All right, folks, take care of yourselves. It's tough go out there some days.